What's going down, everybody? This is Shades of Soul, and today we're going to be examining the trope of the beautiful mean girl slash the bougie diva. Now, there are some traits that all these women share. First, they are very fashion conscious, which means they believe in looking amazing at all times, and they love to shop. They are either mean or perceived to be very mean. And they are very clever. They deliver some of the best one-liners of the entire series. And they are very attractive. So, let's get right into it. Number five is Tony Childs. Tony Childs from the sitcom Girlfriends is the best friend to Joan, who she's known since childhood. Now, Tony is the self-proclaimed cute one of the group, and she doesn't really get along with Maya in the first season. She kind of looks down on Maya, and there's a running gag throughout all the seasons of her mispronouncing Maya's son Jabari's name. I just love Jabari. We all love Jimboree. Jamal is a very wise young man. <laughs> Tony, his name is Jabari. But he looks like a Jamal. Jabari likes to take walks, oh, Jabari yeah. likes snacks. And most of all, he likes to be called by his real name, Jamanji. Oh, yeah. Tony is conceited, fabulous, and blatantly throws shade. Well, I know your pride's gone, because bitch, you're riding a bike. <laughs> Number five, Tony Childs. From girlfriends. About time. What are you doing here? And, and how'd you get in? I keep a kid at every house I sell, but that's not the point. <laughs> Look, I need to talk to you. Todd wants me to get an HIV test. Isn't that some mess? Well, isn't he gonna have one too? Yeah, but we're not talking about him. We're talking about me. For him to suggest that I get one, he must think I've got cooties. <laughs> <laughs> or he could just be smart. What's the big deal? I get one every six months. Yeah, but you need to. You're a hoe. <laughs> I am not a whore. I'm sexually liberated. Well, at least I was before I became celibate and frustrated and horny. And you might want to fasten up that top button and back up a little. All I'm saying is before him, I hadn't had sex in almost two years, so why do I have to take some stupid test? I mean, if I had something, I wouldn't look this healthy and fabulous. <laughs> Number four is Hillary Violet Banks. Hillary Banks is the oldest child of Uncle Phil and Aunt Viv and the cousin to the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Now, Hillary is first a weather girl, but then she goes on to be the host of her own talk show. Now, Hillary is mean and snobbish. She loves shopping and money. And there is a running gag of her asking Uncle Phil for money. Daddy, I need $500. Dad, I need $300. Dad, I need $200. I think I'm in Hillary land. <laughs> now, Hillary is super extra. Like the time she wore a wedding dress to watch Trevor propose to her. He ain't make it. Y'all remember. He ain't make it. Look, th there he goes. <laughs> Number four, Hillary Banks, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. I can't make the Neiman sale. No. Now that I'm living on my own, I have to do my own grocery shopping. <laughs> I know. Okay, bye. Hillary, honey, I'm really proud of you. I, I don't think you've ever gone grocery shopping. <laughs> well, I guess it's time I spread my wings. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. 
was the last time I shopped here for fruit. <laughs> oh, that's okay, Daddy. You don't have to carry. I'm a big girl. <laughs> Let go, Daddy. Do your own shopping. Dad, if we put a bell around her neck, we'd at least know when she was coming. Shut up, Carlton. Okie dokie. <laughs> Hillary, you're a 23-year-old woman living in your parents' pool house. You haven't had a job in over two months. What do you have to say for yourself? I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Honey, sweetheart, I, I don't want to be too hard on you. The hell I don't get a job. <laughs> Why don't you just beat me with a wire hanger? Regina Regine Hunter, who is so bougie, she has a separate pronunciation of her name, is the childhood friend to Khadijah slash costume designer slash fashionista. A hand-stitched sport coat made of wool from the underbellies of Tibetan sheep. A oh, female sheep. <laughs> slash Shaythor extraordinaire. Regine specializes in looking amazing. She doesn't dress. She... Regine holds everybody to a higher standard of being fabulous. Oh, did I mention her weird game set the standard for weird games? Regine Hunter, number three, from Living Single. Hey, baby. Hey. <laughs> um, uh -huh. Max, what are you doing? It? Oh, yes, that's right. Today is the day that my baby here is painting stick figures. <laughs> I brought you a little gift. See, we've been dating each other for eight weeks and three days. Happy anniversary. Cinnamon rolls. It's the dough anniversary. <laughs> Here. <laughs> Good. Put extra icing on mine. I'm going to work up quite an appetite standing here buck naked. <laughs> uh, uh, Max, um, uh, well, wouldn't you like something to drink before you get started? Nope. I just want to get naked. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> St. Clair, Khadijah, what are y'all doing here? Oh, I wanted to see this free-for-all, but St. Clair insisted that we uh, have an excuse. Maxine, this important carpet cleaning offer addressed to you came to us by mistake. <laughs> Max, you pissed your belly button. No, no, that, that is just a, just a clip on. Yes, yes. As Keith's eyes work up and down my body, I wanted there to be little treats along the way. <laughs> See, maybe we should forget about this. No, no, you, you, you have to paint her because I don't know if she could handle yet another man telling her to forget it once he's seen her with her clothes off. Number two is Whitley Marion Gilbert Wayne. Whitley is a spoiled, rich art buyer slash teacher from the groundbreaking sitcom A Different World, which ran from 1987 to 1993. Now, A Different World dealt with relevant social issues and celebrated black heritage. Now, Whitley was an example of influence
but she was also still hilarious. Like through season four, there's a running gag of her mispronouncing Dwayne's then girlfriend Kinu's name. Whitley throws shade so well, she doesn't even need to speak. Whether rocking heels, furs, or pearls, Whitley slays. All the while being unapologetically black. Whitley Marion Gilbert Wayne, a.k.a. the Mouth of the South, a.k.a. Bunny, a.k.a. my favorite television character ever. From the sitcom Different World. <laughs> Don't tell me your tribute to Homie the Clown. <laughs> Whitley, I am giving you an opportunity to include something meaningful in this exhibit. Now open your mind and look at me. I'm the world. <laughs> Homie, Whitley, don't play that. Number one is Sandra Clark. Sandra Clark is a secretary, a.k.a. nemesis to Mary Jenkins on the classic sitcom 227. Now, whether it's the way she walks, which is really just a wiggle. Or the way that she talks, which is really just a high pitched squeal. Sandra personifies everything that is bougie, a.k.a. classy. Her presence demands a respect from her peers. Whether she's rocking a fur peignoir or one of her signature pea plum dresses. Sandra Clark set the standard for this trope, so much so that she won an Emmy for her divaness. Sandra Clark, queen, trendsetter, diva, number one. From the show, 227. Andre, you have 15 seconds to answer these questions and win $10,000. Ooh, I'm so nervous. Can you imagine what I can do with $10,000? Yeah, pay for your funeral. <laughs> You're not going to share it with the rest of your teammates? Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Can you imagine what I can do with $9,000? <laughs> have a cheaper funeral. All right, Andre, don't be nervous. Just say the first thing that comes to your mind. Name something. Hey. Let me finish. Name something you must have in order to live. A man. One of the seven wonders of the world. A rich man. Something that improves with age. A young man. A Christmas present you'd exchange. A old man. A condemned person's last request. And a man. Fifteen seconds. Let's see how you did. Something you have to have in order to live. You said. A man. Our survey said zero. And the second answer was a rich man. Our survey said zero. Third answer was a young man. Our survey said a Christmas present you'd exchange, you said. An old man. Our survey said a condemned person's last request, you said. Any man. Our survey said Hey, when you're hot, you're hot, and when you're not, you're not. <laughs> okay, Sandra, looks like you got a perfect zero. How can a perfect ten get a perfect zero? <laughs>